All right, Santos Tour Down Under always starts with this weird crit that, let's be honest, no one really cares about apart from the sprinters. They have these stupid breakaways, but anyway, there was a huge crash, uh, and I'm gonna talk about that and talk about the final sprint and what we can try and gauge from that, although most sprinters were not uh, actually involved. So anyway, around this corner, you can see Skies on the front. Uh, I believe that's Luke Rowe, Owen Duel. You can see Caleb Ewan's here, Sagan is here, uh, Lotus Adal, again, okay, and you can see Morkov in the Danish national champions. Oh, no, 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 yeah, yeah, that is him. Uh, but anyway, watch this quick step boy here. Viviani's here as well. Um, and that is basically where the crash happened. So around here, pretty fast corner. Pedaling, you can see Daniel Ross is about to pedal. Again, pause it. And then just watch here where the crash happens. So you can see Morkov clips his pedal here. He then slides out, takes out Posselberger. Sagan managed to get then get round it. Viviani's held up. And basically everyone from here onwards is... Um, is held up massively. So there you go. You can see Posselberger's down. Sagan managed to get round it. So does, um, as you know, the Oracle Scott guy doesn't do, doesn't get round, but Alex Edmondson does. You can see everyone back here is, uh, says Cheerio. Daniel Loss does get round it. And then look, these guys, no chance. So anyway, we'll keep playing it. There's Viviani down and all the rest of the boys. So we've got about six people going for the sprint. Um, and you'll be able to see pretty, pretty quickly that Daniel Loss does a great move here. Daniel Loss goes on the attack because he realizes that, anyway, we're going to show more things of the crash but anyway it doesn't really matter the crash happened but anyway when they zoom back to the front you'll see Daniel Ross decides to go on the attack which is actually a great move because otherwise basically Sagan wants it to be fast um, but he wants Lotus Sadal to burn its lead up man and Caleb Ewan has to go early because that's pretty much how he won last year Caleb Ewan went way too early so again Daniel Ross went on the attack then gets caught by Lotus Sadal Caleb Ewan leaves the gap Sagan's here Alex Edmonton's here Alex Edmonton's got no chance Caleb Ewan goes here pretty much perfect timing I believe this is about 200 uh, oh, we can see 150 meters to go is just that sign there. So pretty good timing. Slight uphill drag like this, and then let's be honest, there's no tactics here. Um, Caleb Ewan is the faster man. Good helicopter shots from Tour Down Under. I'm happy with that. I mean, Sagan doesn't even get close. So there you go. There's the highlights uh, for the Tour Down Under Classic. The um, rest of the race was just random breaks going that no one really cared about. Had no out, out uh, no, um, what's it called, outcome. The, it was no bearing on the outcome. Uh, of the final and um, they just won some money for some primes and that's it or some premiums or whatever people call them so yeah um tour down under starts properly on tuesday i believe um and yeah that should be exciting a couple sprint stages go through them a couple climbing stages hopefully my videos don't get taken down but you never know uh, but anyway cheers for watching hope you enjoy and i'll see you in the next one